Hey Coyotes, it's Thursday Tech Day and I have a ton of resources to share with you. So this week I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to make three different videos with multiple resources on them and this will be the end of the Tech Thursday activities for the rest of the month. So um, for, we'll kind of do it like we've done before. We've got door prizes and prizes for people who participate and try out some of the new tech activities. So you'll need to share what you're what you're doing and how you've been using it in the classroom. So what first thing I wanted to remind y'all about Wakelet. Wakelet has so many resources. It could be professional development, resources to use in the classroom, websites, um, games, videos, da 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 da. da. There's lots of stuff on Wakelet. So um, when I was on Wakelet, I clicked on this community showcase and I found a ton of new resources. And that's why I've got so many ideas to share with you today and ways that you can use them in the classroom that are gonna increase your blended learning, your resources for your students, and also increasing rigor. Remember, we're really focusing on rigor this year. We wanna get to that deep learning and deep thinking, deep understanding, so that we're building up and equipping our, our students with the skills that they, they need to be successful in life. So that was one thing I wanted to show you, and I found multiple resources on here. There's a lot of different showcases if you were to go and look and just see what you can find. If you did a, a search, I'm sure that you could find multiple resources to use in your classroom. So one of the first things I wanted to show you today that I found on, um, on Wakelet, and I've actually done this before, but I'd forgotten about it, so it was nice to have a reminder, is TCEA. So TCEA is the um, Texas Computer Education Association, and they have a ton of professional development and resources for, for technology in the classroom. So they build up digital resources. They're, it's a teacher um, group that you can have a membership to. It's fairly inexpensive. I think it's like $60 a year and you get all their information, you get invited to the convention. There's just a lot of resources here. So one of the things I was looking through and I clicked on resources and then app lists and I found this app list for iPhones, for iOS. So they have just lots of different ideas. There's blogs you can read. There's a lot of free resources on here as well if you're not a member. So that's one thing for you to consider. Just a lot of great resources for teaching and blended learning. So our first educational app that I want to show you today, our educational website, is GeoGebra. And I think I pronounced that correctly. So this is all for math and everything is free. Um, so this is an awesome website for all of our math teachers. They can go on. It's kind of like Get More Math, but just on a different platform. So if you have, might be able to find something on here that you could use to, um, to do with your students that's beneficial and maybe give them additional practice. So various resources, there's a lot of different things on here, and then it, and it's all free. So you can go on and create a class share resources and assignments with your students. So just another resource for our math teachers. And one more for our math teachers is make math not suck. So this one's kind of funny. And I actually sent this one to my daughter because she's been struggling in pre-cal. So a lot of resources, there's teaching, there's problem solving, there's just kind of fun stuff on here. You can see over here on the side, all the different categories of activities that you can do. You can go through, some of it's not related to math completely, but there's a lot, most of it's math related and then the, there's teaching. So another way for kids to go on, have a resource, you could even just post this on your um, Google classroom and just have it as an available resource for students. Maybe if they need to hear something explained in a different way, um, another enrichment activity. So lots of different things that students can do on here. An app for everybody is Google Hangouts and we all have this. We already have this on our, I think it goes through our email, but you can also just type it in like I did Google Hangouts and here this is what you see on the main page. So Google Hangouts is message, voice, video calls, da da da. Um, message a friend or start a conversation. Connect anytime with voice and voice calls. Stay in sync across your devices. 
what I was thinking for for Google Hangouts is actually a educational chat with your students. So you could start a new conversation with your students. You could do it by classes and then you could post questions that for them to answer. You could post it open ended questions like what are your thoughts on whatever it is that you're learning right now. So, for example, um, with the election and not going to get in politics, but one of the open ended questions could be, what do you feel? How do you feel about the recent election or about the electoral process? What is your knowledge of the electoral process? And it gives students an opportunity to be engaged in academic conversations with open ended questions, rigorous thinking required. And then they can also look through and they can see what everybody else wrote and glean more ideas. So there's really um, just a platform open for you to be able to use with your students to get some of that conversation and it can be an ongoing thing this could be graded it could be ungraded you can make it a formative if you wanted to um, but the main thing is the swirl activities so the speaking reading writing listening here you've got reading and writing you've got really deep rigorous thinking that's required if you use questions that are open-ended and that require thinking and discussion so um just another interesting way for you to use google hangouts in your classroom okay and the last one that i want to show you on this video is paper airplanes so kind of silly i know um a little bit of a stem activity that you could do and there's various ways that you could use paper airplanes in your classroom. So if you want to do a collaborative activity, if you have kids like write questions on a paper airplane, then throw it across the room and somebody else has to open it and answer it. I don't know, just um, different ways. You could have a mini lesson on an airplane. Kids can make their own airplanes, just something fun and different, making it a little bit more engaging in your classroom. So for, and just a little fun activity for kids. So. This is video one. Hope that you have seen some resources that you can use in your classroom and be looking for video two here shortly. Thank you. Go Yips!